Trinidad, the greatest show on earth. In their quest for authenticity, carnival band leaders become avid students of research as they delve into ancient civilizations and weird tribal customs. Artisans prepare months ahead for the grand celebrations. Buffalo Bill Cody never saw a bull head that was more bull like, nor a papoose more comfortable. Magnificent robes, the trappings of splendor, are expertly put together. A modern day Tutankhamun is most concerned with his casket. Others recreate the crabs that plied upon the Nile. Their magnificent thrones studded with precious jewels and the awe-inspiring sphinx, all relics of a once glorious past. Handle with care, offensive weapons of another age. From cast-off oil drums, which are tempered and tuned to a nicety, comes a musical revelation. A robe for the goddess of the cult of the cobra. For the thousands of spectators, bleachers are erected along the route to the center of competition. Queen's Park Savannah, over the huge competition stage, floodlighting is set up for the pre-carnival night shows. And at last, the official sanction for carnival. Is it any wonder that carnival is so much part and parcel of the Trinidad way of life? It is much more than just two days of fete and abandon. Its roots are deeply embedded in the hearts of every man, woman, and child of this fun-loving island. The kids are nursed on the milk of the Calypso beat. They are weaned on the tantalizing rhythm of the steel band. They are nurtured on the rhythm and cut their wisdom teeth on even more primitive rhythm. So, in the carnival picture, they take first place. are organized for the future kings and queens of carnival. Proud and indulgent parents go to great lengths and expense to reproduce miniature legendary figures. actually a cultural federation of the islands. And this French dance troupe from Guadeloupe makes its contribution. Dancing the limbo, a feat of absolute balance. This lissom lass has just passed under the bar at 10 inches from the ground. Let's see if this chap can do it. Like music, has always been an important medium of expression for the people of Trinidad. This group of native dancers skillfully interprets one of the many folk dances in their extensive repertoire. On the night 
night of Dimash Gras, young contestants display poise, charm, and costume as they try to capture the coveted title of Queen of the Carnival Bands. Who will be the feminine counterpart of the Merry Monarch? Queen of the Carnival Bands for 1959, whose reign begins with a kiss from the Minister of Education and Culture. And at daybreak, Gervais. The pent-up energy bursts out of harness, and the streets are all jammed tight with a sea of fun-loving humanity. All chipping, swaying, shaking, and jumping to the pulsating rhythm of the steel band. At Gervais, there is a total absence of color and pageantry. The accent is on the ridiculous. Every gimmick is employed to raise a laugh. Some bands are organized. Others, as they go along the road, are swollen by the hordes of carnival-hungry addicts as they invade the streets from the many parties and dances arranged to get them in the right mood for the early morning jump up. joy, the spirit of forgetfulness in this poopore of laughter and gay abandon. saw such husky lumberjacks. And how would you like to build yourself a palace like this one? A complete task force, U.S. style, in full battle array, has forsaken the stern realities of their occupation and has created a beachhead in this theater of much happiness. The fleet's in. The men who go out to the sea in ships have come to port. The good old feel of terra firma, though just for a short spell, gives them a feeling of exhilaration. They are out to paint the town. And what elaborate headpieces. Fun and fantasy. The men from outer space have invaded this terrestrial sphere. The bleachers are groaning. 
invasion. Memories of Guadalcanal and Okinawa and these fearless marines storm the beaches in another assault. And sea bees, all happy-go-lucky, enjoying themselves to the full and heedless of the consequences. Sioux, Apaches, Dakotas, Blackfeet, or what have you. There'll be no scalping during this two-day truce. The mighty hordes of Attila the Hun, the scourge of the earth. Their sadistic brutality against their slaves made even the stoutest hearts tremble. Byzantium, famous trading center of the East. The splendor of this once renowned city is recreated for us by the wand of the merry magician, King Carnival. The Redskins are still whooping it up faithfully following the God of Gaiety. The Stokers, facing the blast furnaces, need just one note from the steel band to have them getting into the act. And some sailors prefer poultry feed bags to white drill uniforms. Fancy sailors with elaborate headgear. The epic struggle of the red man against the encroachment of the so-called white civilization will always ring through the pages of history. But this is carnival, the season of festivity. And these erstwhile warriors are determined to get their full share in Operation Enjoyment. by one of these vivacious creatures. What a complete transformation is affected by the magic of carnival. The most self-effacing office worker suddenly finds himself in the glamorous role of a stalwart general. Even his best friends sometimes fail to recognize him. To be outdone are the renowned rulers of Persia, Cyrus, Darius, and others. All are caught in the spirit of revelry. Here's a band that bounces out of the east, Ali Baba and his merry band of cutthroats. But wait, seems like there are really barbers in the outfit. Well, such is carnival. All bands are heading for the Queen's Park Savannah, the chief place of competition. of Africa, deep, dark, and mysterious. The home of the Pygmy, the Bantu, the Watusi. Primitive, savage, and cannibal. Bell 
Belshazzar, outstanding personality of biblical times, in dignified fashion, makes his grand entrance on the competition stage. It's history, the glory and splendor of the past. Kings and princes, generals and guards, prophets and patriarchs, beautiful maidens and exotic dancers. All friends in the intricate fabric of carnival. Vanquished splendor of Russia. Ivan the Terrible is not so terrifying. Who would have thought that the Russians were once a fun loving people? From every vantage point along the road, spectators feast their eyes, and the hundred and one bands display their finery and enjoy doing so. The faded glory of Spain, greatest colonizing power of centuries ago, is brought before our eyes as the once proud, boastful, and arrogant conquistadores strut in all their colorful trappings. The Crees of Canada most famous of the Indian tribes from the top half of the North American continent have forsaken the prancing of the red skin rumba for the sinuous rhythm of the calypso. enchanting daughters of the wide open spaces. Egypt, the desert land watered by the River Nile. Land of the Pharaoh, Thotans, Tutankhamun, and Amen-Ra. Land of the Israelites, land of mystery, land of spectacle, land of sorcery and witchcraft, land of mummy, the cuneiform, the sarcophagus, land of the Sphinx and the pyramid, the immortal relics of Egypt. Testament story of Noah and the ark, the great deluge lasted for 40 days and for 40 nights. And for 40 days and 40 nights, Christians will observe Lent, a period of abstinence and self-mortification. And from thence is laid the groundwork for another celebration of Carnival in Trinidad, the greatest show on earth.